Hello again, it's me from my test model 3 and um, well, ebbs and downs as usual, it's, it's, uh, it's raining and sunny, the clouds are very low, uh, looking out over London, uh, everything this looks the same as it always has done, but it's, it's not is it, it's not anymore, some people, well, it's not quite nice. Um, they're living a normal life because some people, even though it's um, on and off rain and sometimes it's raining pretty heavily, people are still playing golf. They like hitting that ball with a stick, no matter how bad the rain is. Which is, uh, well, it's the own thing, and that's what you want to do. Uh, gosh, you can see a rainbow. The rainbow is, no, I can't pick up on the camera, but the rainbow is right in front of me. I've, I don't think I've ever seen one so close. It's quite nice. It's a, pot, it's a pot of gold at the bottom of the, the bottom of the rainbow. That'd be rather jolly, wouldn't it? Hmm. What's happening on the news lately? Um, uh, I think some lorries are getting across the, oh, uh, you know, the the Dover Dover Calais crossing has messed up, and uh, well, that's what, three thousand lorries queuing up. Uh, but I think um, the French ports might be opening a bit. Gosh, that rainbow is really incredible. Hang on, so I'll see if I can. Uh, I'll see if I can get it for you. Hang on a sec. Yeah, try to get some shots of the rainbow. It's um, that's come out very well. But it's one of the uh, most amazing ones I've ever seen. But uh, it hasn't come out very well on the because I'm only using the I'm using the phone, so. Uh, Pictures aren't that good. I wish I could have got better pictures for you. Quite amazing. Yeah. It's, it's put me in a good mood, actually. Even the car that's pulled up next to me is, uh, hasn't annoyed me. Yeah, what's happening in the news today? Shall I, yeah, shall I, let's, let's go a bit upbeat. Let's pretend everything's better. So, uh, yeah, in, in the French port, um, Dover de Calais, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a bit released and some people are going to get home for Christmas. I've just got a test negative and um, they'll be, get a, be able to go home. I guess the French have released everything a bit because um, it's their own people that are trapped. So, um they probably think, oh, well, we better um, release the port a bit to get our own people home. So uh, if you test negative, you can be able to go home for Christmas, which will be good. Not long to go. That'd be a bit swift, wouldn't they? A lot of people won't make it. But if you test positive, oh, I don't know. Nobody knows. What, what happens if you test positive? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same with uh, everything, really. Um, you got half an answer. So if you test positive, you um, uh, don't know what you're supposed to do. No, nope. well, I'm saying no, because I don't know that, because no one knows. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a puzzle. But it'd be nice if people can get home for Christmas. Um, it's sad that this was sprung upon them when the government knew about this in September. And uh, it's, it is sprung upon them, absolutely. But I guess the government couldn't give the government a little bit of credit. They couldn't just tell everyone about it or the supply chains of this country be messed up. You know, the supply chain that we voted to mess up um, in 2016. So we voted to mess it up and uh, now it's messed up and we don't like it being messed up. You know, I suppose it sounds fair, doesn't it? So it looks like it could be releasing a bit and people could get their... Uh, there's Christmas turkey. Maybe some food shortages. Some um, Tesco are restricting certain goods, toilet rolls as usual. Um, rice and eggs. Probably be pasture as well because uh, all the staple staple things that people buy when uh, things are looking bad. Uh, uh, shops will run short of those like they did last time. Nothing's new. It's all a bit of a repeat because this is deja vu. It's just rolling it around again. This is March last year. No, March this year. Isn't time drag along? This is all in this year. This is disaster year. It's, it's March of this year. Everything is um, playing. We're playing the same tune again. On one hand, we thought we'd be more prepared. And on the other hand, if, all we, 
if we're told what we're told is true. This new strain is more virulent. Um, that's taken away the advantage we had of being more prepared because now people are catching it like, uh, like not before, worse than before. But it seems it only kills you if you're old or fat or both or got underlying health problems. If you're young and fit, you're okay. So I'm a bit split on this because uh, I think, well, young fit people, why should they be uh, locked up? They're young and fit. Why should they uh, have the hassle? It's only a minor minority of people that are dying, but you can't really say that, can you? It's a harsh, that's too harsh. But it might come down to that, you know, it might come down to that. If the hospitals do get overwhelmed, this will be in January, February. If hospitals do come overwhelmed and there's no beds and, I don't know, if people are very, very, very ill with COVID and they've got underlying health problems, yeah, I won't go, no, I won't go down that line. Um, I was going to go down the line of how to free up, free up uh, hospital beds, but I won't do that because that is, uh, I was hoping to be upbeat, but that's, that's the uh, downbeat as you can get. Um, people walking past the car again, chatting away, but I'm upbeat. I'm in a good mood, so uh, that's no problem. It's all all right. Sun's out again. It's amazing. Think about uh, UK weather, especially it's a bit windy like this. Um, it changes so fast now. It's sunny. It's quite nice. It's a really nice place to be. And sitting in my Tesla's a nice place to be because I've got the heated seat on. And if it gets chilly, I'll turn the heater on because. Uh, because unlike a fossil car, I can run the heater. I can run the uh, everything without any sound, without any pollution. Nobody knows any different when I'm running my stuff. It's a nice thing. It is a nice thing. My dream would be a uh, electric mobile home, electric camper van. Now, how sweet would that be? Yeah, because that would have all the conveniences of home because uh, a 50 kilowatt battery, that's what average electric car's got. 50 kilowatt battery was enough to run your house for a few days, so it would definitely run a camper van for a while. Yeah, it'd be really quite pleasant. But uh, this COVID stuff is really, when we'll be going, we'll, I say when, will we ever go back to normal or will we just live with it? I think we'll just live with it. It'd be like the flu. We live with the flu and flu kills sickly people and old people. Um, and this is much harsher than the flu. But the uh, the effects are the same of it attacks um, sickly folk and old folk. But this attacks them harder. And I think we will live with it. And um, eventually we'll all have the vaccine. <coughs> I might because I'm old. Old folk, it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, young folk, it doesn't really matter because it bounces off them anyway. As I said before, you take the vaccine, you can still get it. It doesn't make it. I mean, people say you're, you're immune. If you've had the vaccine, you're immune. You're not immune. You still get it. It's like if you have a flu injection, you still get the flu, but you don't get battered by it. But you can still spread it. So um, young people having the vaccination, I can't see the point just can't see the point bounces off them anyway old people probably it is a good idea yeah old people sick people they've got to get it and um to keep the hospitals free and that is that is the whole point the point of this vaccine is to it says save the nhs and that is it really it's not a number one priority of the government isn't to save the people that's a spin-off because the number one thing is to save the um, NHS to save it getting full up not having beds in the corridors I've heard of that before with other sort of problems that we've been having um, so that will be it I mean we've got our um, sheds with beds things that were built and never used I mean the government's so, so clever that they thought we're this huge arena can take thousands thousands of beds all there all ready and waiting 
slight problem. What is a slight problem? Let's have a think. Oh, we need staff. Oh, we haven't got any staff. God Almighty. If this government, <laughs> it's an extraordinary thing. If this government ran a factory, ran a business, God Almighty, the business go down the pan in a couple of days. I've done it as mentioned before. Do you need to run the country? Sainsbury's, Tesco, Asda. We need a, we need a retail company to run the country because they know how to run things. The government haven't got a clue. They don't know what real life is about. Oh, now I'm going on rant. I'm downhill again. London's looking lovely now because the weather's changed. It was all completely fogged up and now it's as clear as clear and it's looking beautiful. Hopefully I'll get a camera soon and I'll be able to send you some better pictures and it will look nice and um, we better see. I was saying that 2021 will be a good year. <sighs> Stretch it a bit. Maybe the summer of 2021 will be a good year. Because uh, as it is now, don't know. Don't know. Um, should we be afraid? I guess we should, because we don't know. As it is now, we can all survive. But if this strain keeps mutating, the strain of the virus, supposing it got to a strain where it bumped off a percentage, a higher percentage of everyone that got it, young, old. Now, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. Ah. Uh, yeah, hard to fix that one. You know, the only people who would survive something as bad as that would be the bloody politicians who are messing the country up because they'd be uh, sorting themselves out. They'd have their special places to go to. Only the plebeys, the us, the people. The people will be trodden underfoot and um, the politicians will have no one to govern. They have, a, they have to tell each other what to do, won't they? Uh I suppose at least we've got plenty of spare people. We've got nearly 70 million people in the UK, little tiny country, little tiny islands, 70 million people, um, and Brexit just adds to the flow. And we can't feed ourselves. Brexit people think we can. We can't because we're too little to feed ourselves. So we depend on other countries and Brexit people say, no, no, we can wave our little flag and we don't need to depend on anybody else. Yeah, good one. Good one. We, we couldn't survive during the war through lack of food. And that's when the population was low. And the reason we had rationing and lack of food is because um, the ships were being attacked and uh, so our supplies were cut. Our supplies from overseas. Now, that's an odd thing, isn't it? We needed supplies from overseas when the population was smaller. And now the population's bigger. Do you think we need supplies from overseas? Of course we do. We need twice as much, three times as much. Of course we do. But some people think we don't. We can survive. We are British. We can wave a little flag. And do you know where this has come from? Because other countries think we're crazy. During this is not really sort of bantered around too much, but other countries during the Second World War, countries like um, the Netherlands, Holland, people were starving to death in Holland during the Second World War because they had no food. So Holland think we're crazy leaving the EU because they, in living memory, know of people starving to death in Holland. In the UK, we never had starving to death. So we don't think it can happen. We never had, we've never had harsh, harsh times like starving, like lack of food. We've had restrictions on food, but never that bad because we've always had other countries to feed us. We need other countries to feed us. A fact. But we voted that way. 
we apparently we don't need other countries to feed us. We could depend on well, China, I suppose. I see China and India are the countries that are only ones that are likely to be able to help us out. And um, this India, I think India is the one we should uh, we should go cap in hand to because they are what's it? They are um, a Commonwealth country. They are closest to us as far as you know, as far as being the Commonwealth. They are they are nearer to us than um, than America. America aren't near to us. We feel they are because they speak. We speak the com common language, and the common language of uh, Britain and America is uh, lies. We speak fluent lie, fluent lying. That's the language of today. So we can lie to each other. Who can do best at lying? It's crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, I think I might go now. I have to depress myself a bit. I was going to be, I was going to say Happy Christmas. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, I'm going now anyway. I'm a bit down the dumps. I shouldn't be because I'm, I shall get, a, I'll get a camera for Christmas and I'll get some better pictures and I'll show the lovely vista I'm looking at. I mean, I could uh, turn the phone around and show you it, but it wouldn't come out because, uh, I suppose I'm looking out about 30, 20, 30 miles away and it looks pretty great. There's probably less pollution now because uh, there's less people going to work. Anyway, I'm going soon. I'm going now. So I'll see you later on. And uh, mind the road and look after yourselves. See you later. Bye-bye.